Okay, getting ready to separate the uh, engine and transmission from the subframe. And uh, we basically have this, this mount taken out here. And the same thing on the other side, this mount here taken off. And it's just hanging. To separate this engine and transmission, the only thing uh, holding it together is the power steering uh, pump and its lines. Are to separate this engine and transmission, we're just gonna we're gonna keep the power steering lines with the power steering rack because we want to keep that. So we're gonna we're gonna save this thing for we might use it in that vehicle later on sometime. Uh, but to keep this whole system intact, we're just gonna remove these uh, bolts here. Uh, so there's some bolts through you go through these holes and it's uh, 13 millimeter. So we're going to remove this power steering pump from the engine, and just lay it down on top of that. And you got three bolts out. Yeah, you got three bolts out. We're just going to lay that down on on top of that and leave that system intact. Now we can now we can lift this engine up and separate it from. Uh, the subframe but uh that's what was holding it right here these three bolts right here one two three yeah just gonna lift this engine up with the with the hoist and remove all the subframe and everything out of the way then gonna separate the engine from the transmission That's how you separate it from engine transmission is separated from the subframe. And it was basically just these two mounts, mount on each side and the power steering pump. Now it's all separated. And we took the alternator off a long time ago before we pulled the engine. So that's gone too, but okay. We're just gonna get all this stuff out of the way, and then we're gonna Eventually, you're going to start separating the engine from the transmission. We got the uh, engine up on the uh, hoist, getting ready to take this uh, flywheel off. Uh, going to take the flywheel off and try to mount it to this engine stand. Then I'm going to call it a day. Uh, so yeah, the goal is to mount this here. In order to get this like that, I had to separate the transmission the automatic transmission from the engine and all that was was essentially taking all these bell housing bolts there's six bolts and there's a little there was this bracket up front holding like right on the end there this was fitting on the end and it was mounted uh, a little bracket that was holding the engine on up to the front so just this little bracket up front and it was right there on the end right there those little two holes so that, it was essentially that bracket and just the bell housing bolts. And also there was three bolts here that we, that we took apart. There was three bolts holding the torque converter. If you look on the torque converter, torque converter, man, I can't speak. You see those three bolts there? There's one, two, three bolts. That was mounted to this flex plate here. And uh, so we took those out, separate it. So three, three torque converter bolts. Uh, these bolts are right here. And the front bracket, and that's how I separated this thing. I just set, left this on the ground and sitting right here and separated those bolts and gave the engine a shake and popped it free. Used a little pry bar, gave it a couple smacks and now she's in the air and we're getting ready to put this on the uh, on the engine stand and then tear her down but it's getting ready to start I feel a couple raindrops already getting, getting ready to start raining so uh, gonna have to call it a day pretty soon that's where we're at next step to mount before we mount this engine on the stand is take off these six fly uh, 
it's actually not a flywheel, it's a flex plate. Take off these six bolts holding the flex plate on. That's what I'm, what I'm doing now. Well, I think we got enough. Uh, I'm just going to zip it out with an impact. Should pop off now. And she's off. Now we can mount it to the stand. Okay. Well, here she is. Finally got her up on the engine stand. Uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Gonna be tearing this sucker apart and figure out what's wrong with it. Just outside here under the swing set with the hoist, lifted it up and uh, we both already got a little spider making his home here. Check him out. Beat it spider. Anyway, got a, got it up on here and that's how we got it mounted. Took uh, some bolts we found and uh, got it mounted on the stand. And yeah, she's ready to be torn apart. So uh, yeah, that's all we're going to do for today. And there's the, there's the other half. So yeah, got quite a bit done today. So yeah, that's where we're at. On the stand, just gonna leave it out here and put a tarp over it and tear it apart pretty soon. And try to figure out what was making that knocking noise. That's where we're at. Okay. <laughs>